Joining me now is Visionary Award winning producer and rapper, Mr. David Banner. You say handsome. <laughs> well, and the handsome. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, right, <laughs> and the handsome Mr. David Banner. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here on the Red Couch. Yeah, Welcome. Yeah, I feel real comfortable right now. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, great. You we look have... wonderful. Thank you. This mm -hmm. is actually made by my designer. She made it by hand herself. Okay. Her name is Shanita Denton. So okay. make sure you go to her Instagram. Plug, plug. S. Denton Collection. And she can, you know, make you whatever you want. You too. Okay. Men too. Okay. She hooks up the men too. Okay. So I want to start, you know, there's so many wonderful, powerful things we could we can talk about, but let's mm -hmm. start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. How'd you get into music? Uh, that's a hard question because I've been doing music maybe since I was in the sixth grade, mm -hmm. you know, and um, doing it in a place where you really didn't have anybody that came before you was a little bit rough because even my family, you know, with the exception of maybe my mom, told me that you know, I should be doing something else. Right. And um, that's why I'm grateful that um, I was sort of hard-headed, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if, if God truly gives you vision, that you're not supposed to um, have crowds around you. Mm -hmm. People are not supposed to understand. And if you truly believe that it's a divine vision, then um, you shouldn't want anybody to be around or understand, because that was specifically given to you. Right. So, you know, talent shows, traveling all over, broke, mm -hmm. sleeping in my van, homeless. Yeah. You know, all of it is not that's much. That's the part people don't see. Yeah. Well, that's the part people don't want to see, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and that's the thing that I think robs our children the opportunity to really get the whole experience, because mm -hmm. What people don't understand is you, you truly learn from the failures, yeah. not your successes, because you really don't know what went into you being successful. You don't know if somebody was praying for you. Mm -hmm. You don't know if somebody thought you was cute. Mm -hmm. You don't know why you, know, you were successful. But if you fail, 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 then you definitely know where and what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then from that, you build that one success. And at least through those failures, you know what not to do again in order to duplicate that success. That success. Excuse me. Wow. Your mom did a great job with you. Uh, pre she my dad, too. Okay. And dads, dads don't get enough credit. Right. Um, you know, I, I screened my mom for years, but now that I'm older and now that I run businesses, I think the things outside of music that people like about me, they come from my father. Yeah. So, um, you know, great. shout out to my dad, but he did, so he can't hear it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we still got to give him the love. No, I was at your birthday party. Really? It was amazing. Thank you. And Buckhead. Thank you. Black excellence to the T. It, it was, to be honest with you, that, it may seem small, but that was one of my greatest accomplishments because I had an opportunity to attend Jay-Z's um, brunch mm -hmm. at the Grammys. Mm -hmm. um, and it inspired me so much. And I said I wanted to bring that to the South. Yeah. And, you know, we, we knocking on the door, yeah. you know, because I wanted people to know that we can do the same thing. We don't, we, don't, we don't need other people to do stuff for us. We can create it. And that was the beginning of something very powerful. And we'll talk about it in yeah, the next segment. And we're back with Mr. David Banner. Welcome back. Thank you. So let's pick up where we left off. Tell us what you're working on now. Um, I own a multimedia company. If you go to abannervision.com, we score movies, shoot movies, uh, video games, but uh, I did very well in um, scoring commercials. I did the second biggest Gatorade commercial in history, Mercedes-Benz, uh, Kmart, Marvel. Mm -hmm. Um, and what's funny is, this is really funny, I actually moved back to Atlanta because I wanted to move my business back to the South. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna concentrate on the businesses in Atlanta, mm -hmm. like Delta and Porsche, and, right. and I still get all my business from LA. Really? But it's, it's, it's amazing for me because one thing that I've been able to show young producers is that you don't have to chase rappers all the time. Mm -hmm. Like. Um, when I decided to change the frequency of my career, um, I wanted to continue to make in, making the amounts of money that I was making, but I was tired of giving away parts of my spirit and my soul. Mm. So I prayed 
and God gave me this vision, and I'll pass. This is a, I'm serious, this is a billion dollar um, piece of advice that I'm gonna give producers. Mm -hmm. um, stop chasing men mm -hmm. and start chasing sound. Wow. So anywhere you hear an artificial sound, somebody got paid to put that sound in it. Even if it's when you put your credit card and they go, uh, uh, uh. Right. Somebody got paid to go, uh, uh, uh. Really? A lot of money. So like, oh. I remember getting paid $50,000 for a 30 second license. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, it changed the course of my career. Mm -hmm. uh, taxes brung me back down to earth. Because <laughs> right, uh, sure. I didn't pay my taxes I'm when sure. I got that, that, that big deal. But <laughs> um, it taught me how to be a be better businessman. And that allows me the space Mm -hmm. to be as political as I am because I make mm -hmm. money in so many different places. And they can't control you. Yeah, they can't control me. They don't know how to control me. Right. right. And now I learned how to create my own content, shoot my own movies, make my own t-shirts, you know. Um, and that's something that I'm very proud of. You know, you can go to davidbanner.com, order everything you need. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us about the God Box. Mm -hmm. Why'd you create that? Um, the God Box was a manifestation of the rise in my consciousness, but I had, it took me six years to find out how to make that jamming. Okay. Because the thing is, is people think because they're Christian or they're Muslim or they're conscious or whatever, that people are supposed to buy them and mm -hmm. support them because of what they believe in. Mm -hmm. I totally disagree with that. I believe the reason why people don't buy most conscious music is because it's whack. It don't sound good. It ain't bumping. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Um, so what I decided to do was to make a, a, a album that matched my level of consciousness but still could bump in the streets. Mm -hmm. And that took a long time to do, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it ended up working. But let me tell you the most amazing thing is I thought it was about the album, but I had created a special edition God box. Mm -hmm. um, it had books in it, or it has books in it, DVDs. Clothes. It had all of the things that helped me become conscious, helped me become the person that I am that you heard on this record. And it sold unlike I would have ever imagined. One guy said it was probably one of the greatest marketing schemes in hip hop history. But what I did was I told him it wasn't a marketing scheme. Right. The reason why it went so well, because I really, really wanted to help people. Mm. Because what I realized is one of the reasons why people don't like smart music is because they just don't understand it. Mm -hmm. So Malcolm said by any means necessary, that doesn't always mean violence or aggression. That means that if you really love your people and you think that they don't understand that it is your responsibility to get out there and start teaching. Wow. So then that's when I started my lecture series and started going around the United States and lecturing to our people. Right. And let's talk about your show that's on the Spire Network. Mm -hmm. We love that. Okay. Um, it's the ABFF Independent. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also have uh, Saints and Sinners on Bounce. I'm doing, yes. I'm doing pretty You're good doing right now. Man. I'm moving over around. There. <laughs> but ABFF Independent was yeah. amazing because it's funny. Uh, Omari Hatwick left that show to yeah. do power right and then I took his right. spot yeah people don't know that You're right. and um, um, it was an honor to be able to be in that position because initially when I did ABFF independent I thought it was just a show that one of those producers was trying to get their nephews movies put on uh -huh. and it actually wasn't that these were I mean excellent black films who had hit that entertainment ceiling that glass mm -hmm. ceiling that people don't talk about They had won awards all over the world, mm -hmm. but they just didn't have another place And I know with me only the only thing I really really need from God is a little light Yeah until we figure it out and these are great films who just needed one more inch of light to just mm -hmm. You know help them to hold on another year until they figured out what they wanted to do with their films and we gave them that platform and it turned into something that was so beautiful. One thing that I do want to say really quickly that I want to give Aspire credit for is they allowed me to be me. Mm -hmm. They know my politics. Mm -hmm. They know what I believe in. They know I love nappy hair. Right. <laughs> and they didn't bother me. They let yeah. me throw up my black fist. Uh -huh. And it's funny because a lot of the people who work for the network 
They was hating on me. Hmm. But like the higher ups, the higher black folks in that company, were not just black folks. There was some other people that really supported me and said that if we truly stand for black people, we have to get out their way and allow them to be unapologetically themselves. Right. And they did that for me. And I really, really appreciate the staff over at Aspire. Right. I love it. I can go on and on, Mr. David Banner, but I just want to thank you for everything you're doing for music, for oh, the culture, educating it. the younger. I see you mm -hmm. as a bridge from thank the younger you. demographic to the to the older. Can, can, I know we rushed for time, but I want to mm -hmm. tell you something that's really scary about this. Mm -hmm. So I had an opportunity to go to the mighty, mighty continent of Africa, mm -hmm. and I went to Tanzania, mm -hmm. and uh, I had an opportunity to, to have a name-giving ceremony by the Maasai tribe. And it's funny, my name, the name that they gave me, um, mm -hmm. it means the elder that is supposed to show the kids the way. Wow. Like that was the name that they gave me. So it, it's, 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 it's amazing that you say that. But I do want to say something before I leave. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I would wish for our people mm -hmm. is that we don't leave our leaders by themselves. Mm -hmm. Like I, I tell people, I think that black people have a Jesus complex. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they don't take the, the story of Jesus and apply it to their life. Mm -hmm. They say, well, Jesus buried the cross for me so I don't have to bear my own cross. And I totally agree, I disagree with that. Mm -hmm. Jesus showed you that you are supposed to, that you can also also be God on earth if you did as he did. Yes. So that means that we have to support our leaders and not just put them in a the corner and let the world treat them the way that they want to. Make sure that you support the people who are making the sacrifice for you and your community. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> I Kim, love it. I good love job. It. Everything Thank is you. beautiful. You look great and I hope that you have me back again. Absolutely. Uh, the God box. Don't forget to pick it the up. The God box. Check <laughs> it out. You're watching In the Spotlight with me, Kim Ford, and we'll be right